Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to take an opportunity to just talk to you guys. Uh, with everything going on, what are some things that you can be saying and talking to your kids about with uh, the coronavirus uh, right now? So, and, and honestly, just to share with you guys some things that we've done with our family. Um, we're by no means the experts on things, but you know maybe some of this conversation uh, will help you with your kids and, and establishing some things with your families uh, to kind of make things more at ease. So the first thing would be to just be authentic and honest with them and share what's going on. Um, you know, our boys have asked a ton of questions and we just try to stick to the facts. Um, Ashley being a nurse is kind of helpful. She can kind of share with them just medically the basic stuff that, you know, it's a respiratory illness that um, certainly uh, impacts uh, everyone because it's so highly contagious. And, and so kind of what that means, but also we're, we're being intentional to kind of guard them from misinformation and the constant news feeds and everything going on that's a lot of opinion based. And um, we've had to be careful with the conversations we have with one another about things, um, making sure that it's not causing any unneeded anxiety. Um, so kind of just sticking to the basics and using uh, facts. The CDC has a great website that is specific to how to talk your kids through what's going on in relation to coronavirus and, and the different health things that they can be doing. So that's a great resource. I'll attach that uh, link in the email so you can utilize that. Certainly if you have older kids, um, working with Fellowship of Christian Athletes at the high school when all of this was just starting before school shut down, um, you know, the teenagers and young adults have a lot of questions too. And so, um, again, I just tried to steer them with one being open and honest about talking about the situation, but making sure that we weren't spreading misinformation or things that we weren't sure about or opinions, but just trying to stick to the facts as best we can. Because the truth is, there's so many unknowns going and swirling around right now. The second thing I would suggest or, or even share with you that's been really helpful for us is one, kind of uh, setting up and maintaining the routines that we have. Um, so for us, we do homeschooling. So we've tried to really stick to our homeschooling routines um, and making sure that even the simple things like getting up, getting dressed for the day, being ready for action, so to speak. Um, our morning routines with brushing teeth and breakfast and, and meals have been really, really important. Um, and what we've tried to do is kind of structure it in a way that now our schedule is kind of posted. We have a little whiteboard that we keep on the refrigerator um, anyway, and so we've started to use that to actually write down what the schedule is. Um, our older boys can see that and read that. They know what's going on. Um, it just provides the structure and routine that kids need anyway uh, in this season developmentally. But it also helps in the, the season of the unknown because of the virus um, and being kind of stuck indoors. Uh, it helps your day along. Uh, you know kind of what's coming up and, and, and what you can do. Uh, in that, there's opportunity to create some new healthy routines and, and structures. So we've been really intentional to make sure we're sitting down at each meal allows for conversation and to talk about what's going on if need be. Um, that's opened up some opportunities of just additional prayer time and uh, time together. So we're trying to really capitalize on that. We've got to be together, so uh, we might as well utilize it to the best. Um, so definitely establishing those routines, those schedules, however that works for your family is going to be a help. The last thing that I would share with you is, you know, we've got um, an opportunity to really address the spiritual side to all of this. And, um, you know, one of the things we, from the very beginning, we've just kind of continued to hammer home with our kids is that uh, even though in times where it doesn't seem like people know what's going on fully, uh, that there's not a lot of control to the circumstances and the details, that we just refer them back to that God is sovereign. And that means that God is in perfect control. Um, you know, one of the verses that I've shared with them that, um, you know, I recall personally when Titus was in the hospital less than a month old, 
uh, it seemed like chaos and there was no control. And Colossians 1.17, you know, speaking about Jesus, says that um, he holds all things together. And so we've just kind of reiterated that even right now, God is holding everything together. We might not perfectly understand his purposes in, in this time frame, but we can trust that he is sovereign. We can trust that ultimately he has our best and knows what needs to happen for his will uh, to, to come to fruition and ultimately for his glory. Um, it's really also led to opportunities to pray. Um, we, it's pushed us to not just be praying for our family and for our friends and our community, but to get our kids to think more globally and, and to think beyond that outside of their everyday circumstances, to be praying for our country, for our leaders that are making decisions um, for our healthcare professionals, certainly, uh, you know, my wife is a nurse and she's kind of on the front lines of this and um, being able to pray for the hospitals and the nurses and the doctors um, and just for God to move in those instances and in those opportunities. Um, it's also been this opportunity in prayer of to just relay to them, hey, you know, God's word tells us to cast our cares on him and to bring those things to him. And so, just walking your kids through, hey, these are the cares and the concerns that you know are going on for mommy and daddy right now, and here's where we're casting them to God and walking your kids through, hey, what are your concerns? What are your fears? What are you thinking about? This is how you bring those prayers right to the Lord's feet, um, and he hears them, and, and, and uh, that's huge for them, not just in this season, but that translates into other seasons of life. Um, whenever about that prayer life and the need to connect with the Lord. It's also a great opportunity to in establishing some of those new routines or healthy rhythms, uh, setting some time aside for devotion for yourself. Um, you'll need that just so you don't lose your mind, um, but also for your kids. Um, maybe there's opportunities. I know right now media has set aside an, an entire page with resources for this season. There's a lot of kid resources on that page. Bible.com or the Bible app has a ton of family reading plans for family devotions. Um, and that's really helpful just establishing and, and ultimately we want to root ourselves in the word. And so teaching our kids to be rooted in the word. And so uh, that's been something, you know, the kids have been getting up and one of the first things they do is they just take 15, 20 minutes to watch a Bible story on Right Now Media, and then we jump into the Word, and I show them, you know, this is what God's Word really says about that, and allow them to just, again, kind of talk that out and, and translate God's Word into what's happening today. Again, isn't just beneficial for this season, but the seasons to come. Uh, so, you know, hopefully this has been helpful um, and, and just kind of navigating uh, a lot known Again, I'm no expert on this, but I think it's just important to make sure that we are talking to our kids and walking them through it. And again, using every teachable moment we can to relate this back to the relationship with the Lord and, and allowing that to be strengthened um, rather than diminished. So uh, we love you guys. We're continuing to pray for, for you and for everyone. And, uh, and in this time of distancing, uh, I just pray that it would it would just be a time of distancing between all of us socially, but a time to draw close to the Lord. So love you guys.